Hello, I'm coming to you once again from my office uh, uh, in the Rayburn House office building across the street from the Capitol. I have uh, just returned from a, a conference uh, meeting about the uh, so-called fiscal cliff uh, that we're headed toward uh, uh, shortly after the first of the year. Uh, actually, uh, as I've said, I think we went over the cliff many, many years ago when we started r running up uh, uh, record deficits and debt so that today our national debt has reached uh, 16 trillion 300 billion dollars. I'm convinced that the reason people are not more upset about that kind of debt is, is that no one can humanly comprehend, not me or anyone else, no one can humanly comprehend even a figure like one trillion, much less 16 trillion. As I've said many times, that debt uh, in the very near future uh, it, in fact, it already has a big effect on us, but uh, it's going to really hit uh, five or ten years from now uh, and will affect people's Social Security and uh, other pensions and everything that we do. But uh, what uh, uh, disturbs me the most right at this time is that uh, uh, we've just received the figures uh, for the first two months of, of uh, the fiscal year that we're in now. and. Uh, uh, those figures have been uh, 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 very alarming to me. The deficit for the first two months uh, has been $292 billion. Uh, that's roughly $146 billion deficit for each month of the first two months of this fiscal year. If that continued, we would have uh, a record deficit. In addition to that, uh, uh, this has occurred uh, with revenues being 10% uh, higher over those first two months than in the, than in the uh, uh, first two months of the uh, preceding fiscal year. But spending was up 16% over the same two months uh, last year. These are very uh, disturbing uh, figures. And no agreement has been reached as of yet on the uh, fiscal cliff because uh, the President has refused to even discuss uh, any uh, cuts in, in spending. He has said in interviews that uh, our spending on Medicare and certain other things is not sustainable. But he has refused in these negotiations to discuss any cuts uh, of any type. He just continues to talk about increasing the uh, revenue of the government, increasing the uh, uh, taxes, and so forth. And I, I want to uh, remind people, because very few people know this, the House passed all of these tax cuts last July. We passed the, uh, uh, all the tax cuts, we renewed all the so-called Bush tax cuts last July. That means that we uh, passed a bill keeping in effect the uh, lower taxes for the uh, so-called 98% and also for the 2% uh, uh, for everyone because uh, we wanted this economy to be strong and wanted people to continue to invest and create jobs. Uh, this, as I've said several times over these last uh, few weeks, no one is trying to protect millionaires or billionaires. What the fight is about is about who is going to spend the money. Do you want the money spent by the federal government, which is the most wasteful, inefficient way to spend money that's ever been devised by mankind? Or do you want the money to be spent uh, by people who are going to create jobs and hold down prices. And we have a much better job, much better chance of holding down prices and creating jobs the, with uh, more money being left in the private sector. But we, uh, no one is against increasing rev revenues to some extent if we have uh, definite specific spending cuts and not spending cuts that uh, uh, are uh, fake or smoke and mirrors like have been done uh, uh, in the past and uh, have caused us to uh, have the problems that we're having at this time. But uh, the House did pass last July the tax cuts for the 98 percent and I voted in favor of those uh, uh, tax cuts uh, uh, for everyone. And I just wanted uh, people to be updated on the discussions that are going on now in Washington. Thank you.